guys, so this week I am at the Tate Britain, as you can see behind me, beautiful views over there with the River Thames as well, and something that I don't normally do, but I'm actually here just before the doors even open because I've got my tickets to see the Sarah Lucas show and I'm so excited about this, I've been waiting for this since before it was up and I got word that it was actually coming to the Tate Britain, so almost a year now basically to be honest and I'm looking so forward to see these exhibitions as they've come before. If you don't know much about Sarah Lucas, uh, how I got into her was her to like and a kebab on the table. It's worth looking up as an image. Maybe I just try to inject one here. And also her self-portrait, which is in the National Portrait Gallery, I believe, as well, which is herself with fried eggs as well, which is here. And she also did a shop in 1993 uh, in East London with my favourite artist, you know, Tracy Emmy. Um, and they work together so i'm doing a lot of and i'm too excited so let's go ahead and let's get in there and have a look the first person in here on a Saturday morning. The older couple. And Bunny, famous one. So that was a series of pages that had things uh, from words that were, for example, abusive towards women, race, homosexuality, men, and using words in a sense of how destructive they can be. In this room, this wallpaper is Sarah Lucas eating a banana. Uh, the obvious sexual connotation that can come into one's mind in most artwork straight away. However, she wanted to do a random thing like eat a banana and play with that kind of spin. Uh, this is Doris. Uh, we're going to see Doris later with a cat, but at the beginning, this is her sitting in the chair. Uh, I really just like the posture of just the comfort within herself, and that chair is made, it looks like cement, I believe. So you can just see fully around there. Uh, was a lot of bunny girls as you can see and that's a really beautiful one I'm not sure if that's a goddess in the top of my mind but I love the way it folds it's almost very Jeffrey Coons in a way as well you see it as a balloon kind of statuesque way what I liked is when you looked on the soles of his shoes there was her signature so in sort of being like Louboutin or anything like that there was uh, the Sarah Lucas engraved to the soles of the shoes. Just moving on to that one. That one was called Sex Bomb. And this is with the shoes, as I was just talking about. I really liked those shoes. All of the dummies, uh, they made out of stockings and tights filled between paper, sawdust and other things. Some are cemented, some are bronze, some are left in their natural way, some have got dye on them. Doris that we saw before, she's a little bit more softer now you can see. This is fat Doris in tit tom cap. So she looks a bit more slouchy, she's fulfilled she's now sitting on a softer chair. She's a bit softer. She's got some great shoes on, she's got her cap next to her. It just made me feel like the younger and the older woman opposite each other. Going into this room with Sarah Lucas Sandwich, I liked this piece. 
I don't know why, but it reminds me of Tracy Emin's bed. I felt like I could just go into it and have a snooze. Even though this would probably be very uncomfortable, but it's about the size of a double bed. Pretty darn big. Oopsie. So this is floor for TV uh, made out of cement. It's done in one of those old school ones. Kind of reminds me of being a kid in the late 80s, early 90s. And almost like the real words for law, it makes me think people go, oh, well, I saw it on telly. And well, just because you saw it on telly doesn't mean it's for law. This boob sofa egg cone chair, I just looked and thought it looked so comfortable. And I just wanted to nuzzle up in it sounds weird I know but she just made it look very comforting and this oversized concrete believe it or not aubergine with relationship to her father and mother and growing vegetables um, for uh, prizes and these root vegetables being competitions she makes you look at objects like this in such an interesting way including the use of materials with stuff like cement Just looking at this bit here now, you can see, uh, thinking about materials, this is a sofa and chair, but it's made, again made of cement. So it's inviting and not. This next room is the most impactful room, it's the final room of the room. It's the piece to deserve with stuff, if you want to say. Um, this one's quite shocking. It's a beautiful, expensive car cut in half. Then you've got someone sat on a toilet smoking. There's a lot of cigarettes, as you can see in the background there, somebody on the toilet smoking. Penises and chairs and plugs with funny connotation names. A lot of cigarettes involved. Um, there's other pieces like this, which have got the hellish kind of demonic vibe of the toilet. Talking about that, this I found beautiful and creepy at the same time. kind of genie-esque fantasy it's called dreams go up in smoke something that I would never think that you could do out of stuff like cigarettes it must be very expensive to make as well So that was really thought provoking. I really enjoyed it. There was some scenes of cigarettes that in the relationship of my personal feelings with them and the significance of death and concept of self-destruction, I actually liked. But apologies if anyone's watching it and they found any of the subject matters triggering. Uh, I hope you didn't. Uh, and I just really enjoyed the show. I like looking at the materials, the medium, and actually how this idea of feminine masculine materials, I know a lot of my work that I do gets subject to more feminine materials, so it's really good to see Sarah's getting subject to more masculine materials, and even in the pamphlet we talk about Henry Moore, who's in another room that you can go and have a look at, but it was just nice to go, oh, because of the sculpture and the concrete and the things that she's using. Um, and yeah, I just thought it was a really good show. Uh, called Happy Gas and I really recommend you go and see it. Um, 
it's on for quite a while, it's literally just started. So the exhibition is on to 2024 and it's definitely had worth having. So thank you so much for watching and hope you enjoyed.